In this video, I'm going to go over a small toolkit I put together for photography and videography. This is a little different than my other videos. This is uh, in a um, it's in a tin instead of in a pouch like all my other videos have been so far in the, in the EDC series. And this is a, a um, tin made by a company called County Com. Uh, and, um, you know, a lot of people in the EDC community make small survival kits in like Altoids tins and things like that. So what this is, is this is a sort of upgraded Altoids tin. Uh, and they come in two sizes. They come in the regular sort of Altoids tin size. And then this is a larger one. Um, better built, you know, heavier construction. And you can see it's got this kind of nice topo map looking uh, engraving on the cover. So I, I think they look really nice. It's kind of a cool tin. And I, I saw these and I bought the regular size one and the oversized one. And then it was kind of like, okay, what, what am I going to do with them now? And, you know, kind of looking at some different things, I came up with this idea. So let's open this up. So the first thing you see here right on top is a cleaning cloth, right? You've always got to be prepared to uh, clean your lens. Um, I wear glasses, clean your glasses, things like that. So just a cleaning cloth, just a regular little microfiber cloth. Uh, and then I, I saw in another video these little um, tins here you see. And so what I have in here are um, a few parts and some bits. And um, a lot of my stuff, I use small rig cages, particularly for videography. I have small rig cages that I can put all kinds of accessories on. So having some extra screws for small rig cages is useful. Uh, and then there's, there's some bits in here. So if we look, this one, um, these are quarter inch hex bits in the sense that they go into a quarter inch hex holder. And uh, there's um, Torx and Allen screw um, in here. And these are the ones that match up to um, my tripod. Also, um, if I can get it out here, the assorted bits here is, um, you know, more along your, just your, um, it goes this way, um, Phillips and regular bits. And I think there's a square bit in here too. Um, no, no, this is just Phillips and regular. So just Phillips and regular bits. And then for the screws here, there's just a variety of different screws that uh, are useful for the small rig cage stuff. In terms of tools, what we've got here is this is a Titan little ratchet wrench thing. This is, um, you know, it holds quarter inch hex bits. So here's a quarter inch hex bit in it. It's a ratchet. You can, you know, switch directions up here. And you can also turn it like this so you can use it like a regular screwdriver. And all of those bits, the hex bits, the Torx bits, they all fit in this. Also for this, I have an extension. So if you needed more reach, um, you could use this in a variety of different ways. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Um, the other thing is this comes from a tool company in Taiwan. And this is really kind of cool. I think it's 7-Eleven tool. And I, I will put links to everything down below. Um, they're not affiliate links, um, just, just for your convenience. So this fits quarter inch hex bits. Push this down. That's a quarter inch socket drive. So you could use this with quarter inch sockets. And I don't have any quarter inch sockets in here, but you know, you would have the option to use it with quarter inch sockets if, if you wanted to, needed to. Um, this is a micro bit driver. And in the handle here, I have a whole set of different Weha um, bits. I've got, uh, actually, these aren't Weha bits. No, they are Weha bits. Um, so there's a tiny Phillips and a couple of uh, regulars. These are great, like if you're, um, 
you know, something happens to your glasses and you need to work on your glasses. And there's more bits in there. I, I knew there was more bits in here. So, um, you know, additional Phillips and regular sizes. So a whole, whole selection of that. And then this is actually an adapter. This is a Weha adapter. And this goes into, this will fit into the quarter inch um, socket here. And now we'll take those little tiny bits. So if you needed more torque, you could use this with those bits. So, and, and this is a kind of a no-name off-brand driver. But the reason I like this is it fits like that. Weha makes one that looks just like this, and it's just a little bit too long. It does fit in diagonally, but, you know, it's just not a very elegant solution. Um, then it's nice to have some pliers. So we've got a little uh, Leatherman um, style tool. Got pliers. It's got uh, little wire cutters there. Um, there's a pair of scissors in here. Um, you can get out. It's got a little uh, file slash uh, regular screwdriver. There's also a pair of tweezers in here. They're kind of hard to get out. So there's a little pair of tweezers in here. And, uh, you know, this will work as a bottle opener and you can clip this to something if you, if you want to clip it to something. So, you know, that gives you a, a few other tools, like if you got a nut stuck or something like that. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to take apart my camera in the field uh, to any great extent, but um, the small rig stuff, being able to tighten things up, I wear glasses, my glasses screw up, you know, one of, one of the screws comes loose or something like that. I want to tighten that up. I can, I can fix that with this. Um, and then this is, a, this is a little hex tool, and this is from Peak Design. And again, this right here is the Allen size that holds the head on my tripod. Um, that's something that you're going to use fairly frequently. You know, I have that same hex size in here, but it's easier to just grab this and do that and just adjust your tripod if you, if you need to do that. And, and again, that's something that, you know, you might have to do fairly frequently. So that's the little kit. Um, you know, when I go on a photography trip, I'll have a camera bag. It might be a shoulder bag, like if I'm just going to be walking around town. Um, if I'm not hiking a long distance, I use a shoulder bag because you can open the top of the bag, have it hang from your shoulder, and just reach in and grab lenses and camera bodies and exchange stuff very easily and quickly. It's very convenient. If I'm hiking off in the woods somewhere and I'm going on a longer hike, longer walk, then I'm going to um, use a, uh, a backpack because it's, it carries easier, um, it's more secure. But with a backpack, you got to kind of lay it down on the ground and open it up, and it's kind of a pain. So the bag's nicer, you know, if you're just walking a reasonably short distance, the backpack, if it's longer, this would easily fit in either one. Um, I could also drop it in my pocket if I wanted to. It's a little bit heavy. I probably wouldn't do that, but I could. Um, but I could easily put it in the shoulder bag or the backpack. The other thing is when I go on these trips, a lot of times I will have a hard case that I leave in my car or in my room at the hotel. Um, you know, if you go on a once-in-a-lifetime photography trip, you really don't want to only have one camera body. So I'll bring an extra camera body and I'll have it in that hard case. I'll have some extra lenses and things so that, you know, if something breaks on the trip, it doesn't ruin the trip for me. Um, so this, this could sit in there as well. But it just gives you a few basic tools. So that's it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I have a lot more EDC stuff coming. Um, I just need to get the time to record it. I've got lots of stuff that I've built that I want to record on. Um, and uh, I'm also going to do some stuff for RVs. I'm a big RV guy. Um, I'm going to do some stuff about tools, parts for RVs, repair tips, um, things like that. So that stuff will be coming. Lots of music stuff. I've got a lot of music that I'm working on right now. Um, so, you know, any of that interests you, um, again, please like and subscribe. And again, I'll have all links to all of this below, not affiliate links. Um, so thank you.